Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today's going to be a three-card oracle you pick with Diet Across Finish. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we're going to do a, a three-card oracle with a Diana Cross uh, finish. Uh, for the oracle, we're going to use these Legrand uh, Circus and Sideshow Tarot. So that'll be for the three cards. And then for the uh, finish, the Diana Cross, we use the Heaven and Earth Tarot. And I'll just show you these really quickly. I've showed them to you a few times before. But um, just in case you haven't seen that video, you'll see this one. So these are really cool cards. I like to use these for, actually for Trump or but I thought they'd be a nice, fun card to use for this three-card uh, oracle. And so that's what we'll do today. So this gives you an idea of what the cards look like. Gives you a chance to uh, see a full deck, kind of. And um, then I get to mix them up without causing too much damage to the cards. So I like that. I'll also use this method if I'm uh, reading for someone. Let them spread them out like this, and then you kind of get some energy uh, in those cards. Now for the um, for the next cards, that'll be the Heaven and Earth card. Uh, these are great. They've got a really good, useful booklet. They've got little pops of color in them, although primarily these cards are black and white. I'm going to spread those out for you to take a look at. You can see that they're very, um, so what do they call that, film noir, where they're just, uh, that black and white's featured, but there's pops of colors in there to give uh, some hints of uh, what's coming. So that's these Heaven and Earth uh, Tarot. And these are the ones that we'll use for the Diet Across Finish at the, uh, after we've revealed the uh, three card oracles. Come on cards, don't get in there mixed up. So put these away for now. And then we'll um, get busy with the uh, rest of the cards. Okay, so we'll shuffle these up, and you'll get to choose one, two, or three. Clear your mind right now. Sort of bring your questions to the front. Uh, think about what's important to you and what you think we can get an answer to in these three cards. It could be that we get some clear yes and no answers with these uh, regular tarot cards, or it could be that these cards are just play a significant role in the divination of the Diana Cross. So this is going to be one, two, and three. So we're ready to go with that. The uh, three cards, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Remember, you can stop the tape. You need a minute to clear your head in one, two, three. Okay. The first card, if that's what you picked, is the Two of uh, Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is, you know, keeping things up in the air. And this is very interesting how this, uh, this uh, circus, uh, this performer here, has got these two cotton candies. But they started to melt and they stuck to each other. And he's playing a little uh, stepping game trying to keep them uh, balanced. So the Two of Pentacles is keeping things balanced up in the air. If you pick number two, so this is the Pope or the Popess or the Empress. It's the second card of the uh, Major Arcana. And uh, the uh, this uh, card uh, makes us think of our inner intuition. Uh, the Popess comes us with tons of knowledge um, and learning to help us um, uh, get on our way. This, by the way, is sort of a maybe card, and this would be a yes card. The third card, if that's what you pick, is the Emperor. And the Emperor is the um, fourth uh, card in the uh, Fool's Journey. And so this fellow is in charge. He's completely uh, authoritative. And this is a big yes card if that's the one you chose. Okay? So we'll turn these over. Set this one to the side. And we'll get ready to do the Diana Cross for those cards. And for these, this will be that uh, Heaven and Earth Tarot. These are very nice cards. Uh, I love using them. They're pretty new for me. Still a little broken. As a matter of fact, still have that new card smell. Not a new car smell, but the new card smell. <laughs> and uh, we'll use these up and see if we don't get some six good cards for this uh, diet across here. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. And uh, I think what I'm going to do. 
I hadn't planned on using this as the signifier card, but I'm going, ahead, going to go ahead and do that. And we'll have an extra card here for uh, further explanation if we need it. Okay. So with the signifier card being the two of pentacles, the two of pentacles keeping things balanced. Ooh, a little gum there. I'm a little sleepy. And the challenge to that, keeping everything balanced then, is going to be this um, princess of wands. So the Princess of Wands, you know, Wands are fire, action, movement, planning. Princess of Planning has really got some some uh, ideas for uh, how we can uh, keep things going. So keeping things balanced is is challenged by moving things forward. So let's see what comes at the base of this reading, and maybe that'll give us some more clarification. The base of this reading is the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is our rules uh, in this reading today. For this is what that's what the Hierophant uh, is is. I'm encouraged to believe that the Hierophant is here. So we must follow the rules, the structure, the uh, governing um, structure of what it is that we uh, need to do. The recent past for this reading is the, um, gosh, the Earth. Okay, Earth of Power. Earth of Earth, Earth of Power. I'm not sure what this, this down here means, but this is the number four card, and this is the Emperor, as a matter of fact. And so the Emperor is a... Uh, uh, a solid um, the number four in the major account is a solid oh wait this is the four pentacles four pentacles okay now this is clear four pentacles is in fact um, sort of having something that you didn't really want to take okay so that's how we came into this in the sky for this reading is the emperor and uh, see this is a four and this is a four and that's why I got confused thank you cards for helping me point that out uh, the Emperor, however, is a, this is such a strong reading. Look, we've got the Harfin down here. We have the Princess of Wands over here. We have the, um, is this the earthly power that this one uh, tells us about with this Four Pentacles? Uh, meaning, a, um, usually uh, this card means uh, an offer of something that you don't particularly want, or uh, really that's uh, what we're talking about there. But with the Emperor, we're talking about someone who's fully in charge of what's going to happen here. And uh, these are the rules that we're going to follow, uh, regardless of uh, how we may feel about it. And then the uh, likely outcome for all of this is the three, six of, okay, the six of uh, pentacles. The six of pentacles is really uh, giving and receiving, doling out the value uh, in an um, equitable way. The last card we'll use to just further define this over here is going to be the chariot and things happening in a rapid manner. Okay, so we started with uh, trying to keep things balanced, but that's challenged by wanting to move things forward. And then uh, the uh, Hierophant uh, laid forth the rules that we need to follow. This should make sense to you. And then uh, with the Four of Pentacles, we had an offer that we didn't really want to take. Uh, the uh, Emperor up here is telling us that, uh, again, we will follow the prescribed method that this should be uh, handled in. The likely outcome is a, uh, an equitable distribution of the wealth. And then uh, this should be something that's coming to four uh, pretty rapidly. Okay. So we chose number one. That's the card you got. You chose number two, then this is the Pope S. The Pope S. So that's the number two uh, card in the Fool's Journey, the Major Arcana. Let me put these back in here and get them a little mixed up. Two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, so she tells us to uh, trust our intuition. Um, we have all the knowledge and the, um, and the information that we need. We have the wherewithal to make this happen. So Six cards again. That extra card will just be further divination. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, we'll leave this one over here. We'll take these cards and get started on this, the Pope S. Remember, this is going to be the signifier card. I say remember because I almost forgot. So the signifier card is use your intuition. You have what you need to get this done. Uh, the challenge to that, then, is the world. So the worlds are uh, beginnings and endings. And so uh, I would say that, uh, let's see, your intuition is challenged by a new cycle coming along. Not sure how this is going to uh, uh, come into this divination, so let's go a little, a little step further. In the basis of this reading, we have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this the eight? Yeah, this is the eight of cups. And uh, the eight of cups... I always forget Eight of Cups is um, sort of walking away from something that you really, really value. Some sort of emotional situation that's making you feel like 
oh, I don't know if I can really get this done. Um, but um, you, 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 you realize that you have to turn away from this to continue that journey on. So intuition, okay, that, that works together. Intuition is challenged by this uh, new cycle that's going to start. Maybe you're feeling like uh, you shouldn't start this new cycle, but we always have to keep moving forward. And even if we have to um, put, leave something that we feel is of uh, value behind, emotional value. The uh, past in this reading was the Ace of Wands. And so the Ace of Wands tells us that, you know, this is a big offer of a plan to get things going. So yeah, this is all about, you know, getting this going in the right direction. The uh, sky for this reading then is the uh, Ten of Wands, Ten of Plans, Oppression is how it's revealed here. And uh, this is really, it's a big chore to make this uh, thing happen, but we can do it. Uh, we must do it. There's no way to avoid it. And uh, the likely outcome of this then is the Knight of Swords charging forth with truth and uh, and justice. And uh, further to further define that, we have the um, Ten of Pentacles, which is really familial wealth. So it's, you know, let's not get stuck in our head over here. The cycle starting, we have to, to turn our back on what wasn't serving us. Uh, we got this big um, offer to, or this big push to make this plan. It's a heavy load. Um, we, we will come out of this uh, with uh, truth or justice, and, um, and it will be uh, to the benefit of all of those involved in this issue. Okay. So there's two. We chose the third card then. This is the Emperor. All these are such strong cards today. Put these six cards back in the deck and then get ready on this last card for this divination. The Emperor. So the Emperor tells us that he is in charge. He's fully in command of what's about to happen here. And that's the signifier uh, for this reading, the Emperor. Okay. We're going to choose six cards out of here. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Done with these cards. And then the challenge to that emperor is going to be... Okay, this is... Uh, my goodness, what is this? Okay, these are the four of wands. And here they are right here. These are the wands coming up right here. I hope you can see them. So the Four of Wands is uh, is telling us that this is a measured celebration. This is a smaller celebration, uh, perhaps a step on the way to something uh, bigger. So the challenge to being in charge of all of this is um, be careful not to, um, to celebrate uh, too soon. And if you are going to uh, celebrate this uh, first steps that you're making, just make sure that you leave room for how this is going to finish out. The base of this reading then is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is really the keeper of all the value of her realm. I mean, she is the one who's in charge of her value, and she very well knows it. The past of this reading, then, is the uh, Five of Swords, which is betrayal, uh, feeling as if um, someone has uh, made away with the goods, uh, not treated you fairly. This could be you, or this could be you. So you could be the one who's actually taken advantage of the situation, or you mean the one who, who was taken advantage of. Um, since this is the emperor fully in charge, I would tend to believe that, that you may have taken advantage of a situation. Maybe you don't even realize it, but let's take a moment and think about what's happened uh, in, in your um, situation that you're asking about. And the sky for this reading is the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands are, are things happening fast. I mean, they're, they're fruitful, these plans are going to occur, and there's no stopping it. Uh, so we might as well understand that um, this is moving forward as everything must. Uh, the likely outcome for this then is the star. And it's just shining the light on everything. There's balance. There's um, It's ready for public uh, display. And so this is going to move forward. The star is the uh, emperor, in this case the ringleader's uh, favorite pet. And just to further define that, we have prudence, and that's the uh, honing your craft. And if you are the star of this issue, you know with this Eight of Pentacles that you need to get your uh, situation perfectly in order, and you will just continue to move forward with your issue. And that seems to be the theme of these readings today. Keep things moving forward in the best way possible. And that's the three-card oracle for today for you. So I hope that was useful for you. This is the um, three-card oracle for today. Uh, take a minute to let that soak in. You may want to come back and look at it later. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.